Greetings and welcome to a new Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to make the enemy follow the player by using pawn sensing and then kill the player by reopening the level and let the player kill the enemy. Uh, I'm going to use uh, my own skeletal mesh which you can get by going to unrealtutorials.com downloadable content, skeletal mesh you know, in case you don't have a skeletal mesh and you just want to follow along and learn something, then you can go here and just scroll all the way down and click download. So, I have simply created, well, opened a first person template because then we know that we have the same, we start at the same place. So I'm going to start by selecting content and add new folder and I'm gonna call the folder enemy then I'm gonna save this as a new level and I'm gonna save the level inside of the enemy folder and I'm gonna call the level enemy versus player why not Then I will find my skeletal mesh. Um, take the FBX file and just drag it into the new folder. Maybe it didn't register. Here we go. So I'm just gonna import a skeletal and import all. Could not find a bind pose. Doesn't matter for this tutorial. Does not matter. Now I'm just gonna save. Always remember to save. Right click and choose blueprint class. We're gonna create a new character blueprint class. I'm gonna call this AI enemy enemy like that and save again open this so now we have the perfect character beginning templates so I will start by finding my skeletal mesh so click add component and then go down to skeletal mesh and in the mesh here we're gonna find it I'm just gonna use my killer drone and it's created in blender so it's really tiny because I never seem to remember that things in blender are not the same units as in unreal so I'm just gonna scale it up 30 by 30 by 30 I'm gonna take it a little bit down like this Attach this up here, okay. Yes, that looks that looks okay. Compile and save. Now we will add the pawn sensing components. And I just want to thank um, Zondak who commented on my previous uh, enemy follow player tutorial and told me about the pawn sensing component because I didn't even know it existed. So I've been playing around with it and it's, you know, it's miles away of the way I used to do it. And it seems to always work, so this is the upgraded version. <laughs> so, pawn sensing. Uh, you get it to work by compiling. So here we go. And this is, you know, the area that it spans and you have different types of senses. I'm just going to use the vision right now. And as we can see here in the details panel for the AI, peripheral vision angle is 90. And you know, you can see clearly that he won't be able to watch in 90 degrees. So I'm going to narrow this down. 
perhaps like that is okay. I'm gonna take 25 to get a nice even number. Like that. So now if the player enters his field of vision, he will follow the player. So we set that up by going to events, on C pawn, click the plus sign, and drag this out and just search for simple move to actor. You can connect the goal to the pawn and drag out controller and search for get Kitty. get controller like that again thank you Zondag now select all of this and comment I'm just gonna take enemy stalk stalking player so compile and save now go back out into the scene, drag the mesh or the blueprint class into the scene. I'm gonna turn him around a little bit, but he won't be able to move unless you also include a navigation mesh. So I'm gonna go up here to the modes and search for classes. Nav mesh, nav mesh bounds volume. So just drag this into the scene. Make sure it overlaps the floor and push P if you want to see where it is. Now everywhere where there is green you will um, be stalked by the enemy. So as long as he can see you, of course, of course. So save now let's see if it actually works dun, 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 dun. oh no 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 yeah now he can't see me now he can see me now he can't see me now he can see me okay so but nothing happens now but I, we want him to kill the player so to do that we need to go and find the first person character blueprints inside of blueprints first person character in here go to viewport and select the capsule components then go back into event graph right click and take on component no, no. Okay, it would be actually just easier to just click on on component begin overlap here. Just make sure you click it while having the capsule com component selected, or else it would be selecting something else. So, okay, okay. So drag out other actor and cast to. AI enemy, which is my name for it. You search for your name or your enemy's name. Here we go. And then when it overlaps the player's capsule component, it will take damage or simply open the level one more time. And my level is called enemy versus player. Enemy versus player. You know, this is where you would uh, make the enemy give damage to the player if you have damage and health. I have created uh, tutorials for that so if you want to know how to create a you know health bar and stuff like that then just browse my videos and you will find it. Okay so select all of them comment enemy kills player compile save save back out boom no no it did not work and I'm gonna tell you why I'll go back into the enemy select the mesh you see this mesh is not correct it does not have the correct collisions 
So I'm gonna take generate overlap if events and then uh, custom collision presets, no physics collision. Uh, ignore everything except pawn. And I guess that should do it. So compile, save, back into the scene, save the scene or the map, play. Let's see. Boom! He dies and level reloads. Boom! Now, I cannot defend myself. <laughs> no! <sighs> He's invincible. So, we would like to kill the enemy. Of course, we would like to kill the enemy. Wouldn't we like to kill the enemy? Yes, we would like to kill the enemy. So, back into the enemy. Select the enemy mesh, go down here and take on component hit. Click. From here, drag out other actor and cast to first person projectile, which is the bullet, you know. And then drag out this and take destroy. Destroy, 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 destroy actor. Right there. Select all comments, bullets, kills enemy. These bullets will kill the enemy. Save, compile, save, back into the scene, save. Now let's see. Oh, he's coming! But he did now. So, there you have it. He will follow you. He will kill you, restart a level, or you can defend yourself. Yeah! Boom, bitch! So, that's it. If you want to learn about, you know, health bars and whatever, then go do that. <laughs> Have a great day. Peace out.